Hi, my name is Sunday. In this video, I'll be talking about another emergency income, autonomous bonus, bonus affito, bonus pesa in the draft of the support decree. So another emergency income is on the way. Another bonus affito on the way. Another autonomous bonus as well on the way. So all of them are written in the draft of the support decree. In the draft of the support decree, they have just released those things that are written inside it before they will approve it in this week. So now we're looking at those things that are inside and as well, those ones in agriculture and also the seasonal workers as well. Those ones, we're telling you the reason why currently they have not written it in the support decree. But first, if you know you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe and make sure you click the notification bell so whenever I upload any new videos or information, you will know. Now let's get started. It says, Sustaining Beast Decree, the draft and the upcoming. On the 3rd of May 2021 is when the draft of the support decree was released. It says, the new law decree Sustaining Beast takes shape in this house, we are talking on the draft of the provision that will be launched this week. This week, they are going to approve it, launch it and approve it this week by the Council of Ministers and in any case by Friday. Previously, before, they were intending to approve it on the end of April, but they were able to approve it at the end of April. But now, they are talking about this week, the first week of May. So, we are waiting for the approval. After the approval, then all these bonuses that are inside people can start applying for it but currently they have only released the drafts meaning things that are written inside is what they have released for people to see but they have not approved the decree so let's continue it says in total they have 48 items 48 things inside the decree among the measures also the postponement of the plastic tax to January 2022, the extension of the suspension of mortgages for the purchase of the first home, the concessions for the purchase of houses by young people, we'll also be looking at that one as well. It says the extension of the moratoriums for SMS in addiction. Now, everyone listen. In addiction, interventions are planned from the refinancing of emergency income for another two months emergency income for another two months they have planned it they have written it in this draft that they are about to approve so for another two months to the new refreshment for vat numbers to the new refreshment again for people of autonomy just like the 1000 they collected many have started receiving their 1000 currently it says from the tarry discount to the extension of tax credit for renters so many more that we're going to be looking at inside this draft or what they are about to approve in this week first we start with emergency income emergency income will be recognized for another two months in june and july so another emergency income on the way for those ones that have applied for it before so another emergency income is coming your way this is what we read in the draft of the sustaining Beast decree which extends the duration of the benefits after three months after the three months they have applied for march april and may already provided for in the first of the sustaining which is the support decree to obtain it now they have given a date already in the draft although they have not approved it but they have said it inside they have written it inside the draft i need to go say an application must be submitted to ins by 30th june 2021 so when they approve it this month so application must be sent to ins by meaning it's going to round off on the 30th of june which means unfailingly they are going to approve it this month so that application can also end on the 30th of june probably maybe application is going to start from 1st of June, they have not said the date is going to start, but application is going to end on the 30th of June for emergency income, the new emergency income. That is what they say. So, second one, vouchers for rent to municipalities. They are talking about the bonus phase and also bonus affito. A fund of 500 million to allow municipalities, which is commons, to finance vouchers for food shopping 
which is bonus phasers. So a fund has been released or will be released to the commons to fund it and support for the payment of rent as well for the payment of rent in this new support decree that they are about to approve inside this week and household the fund will be distributed within 30 days within 30 days from the date of entry into force of the rules by the decree of the minister so according to them when they approve it within 30 days then the fund will be released to the common and thereafter application can also start for it for the voucher card which is bonus visa and also the bonus affito as well so this week we'll be waiting for them to approve the new support decree after they have approved it then all these things we just mentioned emergency income bonus visa and many other things then people can start applying for it so let's forge ahead the next one says no repayable grants with around 14 billion available and a double track among the most important innovations which can be read in the draft the introduction of a double track for the no repayable contribution stands at that is a no repayable contribution is introduced in favor of the subject already beneficiaries of the economy support measures referred to in article one of the previous support decree of the same amount previously recognized now these they are talking about people of that autonomous people those ones that applied first for the 1000 autonomous bonus so another no repayable grant be given to them as well they said it will be recognized to those people that have applied for it before and they don't need to do another application again so it says without the need for the recipient to submit a further request so without the need for the person who want to apply for it, for the person who want to collect it not to submit another request if you have applied for it before they have given you the 1000 of autonomy you don't need to make another request that is after they have approved it so that is what they are saying not now so that people will not be calling and say when is it going to take place after they have approved it so people got to wait for them to approve it probably by god's grace they are going to approve it this week if they approve it we also let you guys know that they have approved it so you guys will stick to soneros tv that when they approve it, you also got to know about it so that you also know the dates that all these applications and things and the payments will also start rolling out as well. So let's watch ahead. The next one says mortgages under 36 for people, new people under 36. If you know you are under 36 and you are planning to buy first house or you are planning to have a home in Italy, so there's opportunity for you. The government is saying that it's going to be reduction of tax. They say all those who are under 36, if you know you are under 36 and buy a first home, will be able to access the guaranteeing fund on first home loans. So through the guaranteeing fund, you'll be able to access loans or mortgage to buy your first home. So that is what they are saying. He said the draft therefore broadens the audience of young beneficiaries. The under 36 also do not have to pay the registration tax. If you buy your first home, you don't need to pay the registration tax and also mortgage tax and land and we also hide notarious fees. So the notario money, that notario money, they always they discourage people from buying houses in Italy. What they are saying right now is that those ones under 36, if they want to buy their first houses, they will have to pay very low notario fees. So that is what they are saying. The concessions do not contain the portraits of prestigious homes. That is, it does not contain if you want to buy very a big mansion and other place. No, they are not talking about mansions, not prestigious homes. It says, and are valid for this sign up to 31st December 2022. So it is valid from now 2021 to 2022 so that is what they are saying after 2022 you can't participate in this bonus so if you want to buy a house in this period and you are under 36 is a good time for you to buy a house and then many other costs all those things that always burden people if they want to buy a house those things will be taken away so that is it make an advantage of it those ones that really want to buy a house take a good advantage of it so lastly what about those ones in seasonal work those ones that they paid 2400 euro because they promised them that they are going to do it again or those ones in agriculture now let's look at it, it says 11 articles still without test 
of the 48 articles that make up the draft of the Sustainable Beast Law Decree, 11 do not yet contain the text. So, 11 articles are still missing. Inside the 11 articles, those ones in agriculture, their own are still inside the 11 article. So, they have not written it inside this draft. How their own is going to be. And also those ones in seasonal or stagionally, they have not also written it in this test as well. He said the rules concerning the refinancing of the Martin Fund, the extension of the allowance of seasonal workers, it has not been written inside. Tourism and sports and the railway sector must be defined. Furthermore, the details of the articles regarding the need for the extraordinary commissioner of the COVID emergency on agriculture. Those ones in agriculture, in farm work, they have not written it in the test as well. So, they are still missing. There are still many things that are missing in the drafts. Eleven have not yet been written in the drafts. Of the eleven, seasonal workers and also agricultural workers, they have not yet been written in the draft. So, we got to wait for them to also write it in the draft as well. But, anyhow, anyhow, they are going to approve it this week. So, that is what the government has said. Like I said, emergency income for another two months. That one is a short banker. They have guaranteed that one. That one has been written already inside. The autonomous as well. That one is also a guarantee again. And many others. So, these are some of the things that are inside the new support decree and the government said they are going to approve it inside this week that is about to round off. So everyone should keep their fingers crossed and as they approve it, you also hear it from Sonero TV. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, comment and also share it to others as well. And if you know you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe and make sure you click the notification bell so that whenever I upload any new videos or information, they will know. Thank you and God bless you. Bye.